Hello. Yes, local candidates is the way forward. I stood in Kensington and Fairfield in the May, May the 3rd County Council elections 2018 and I came third. Now given all my baggage and previous affiliation with the NF, BMP, whatever, I still done okay if you ask me. I still came third. I didn't come last. I beat the Tories, the Liberals, the Lib Dems. I did not come last. Now, had someone that lived in that ward had no previous affiliation with politics, had no baggage like I've got, I've got tons of it, as you know, they would have done exceedingly well in that ward because there's anger and resentment as to the neglect that's uh, happened to the people in that um, area, in that neighbourhood, Kensington and Fairfield. They are pissed off, to say the least. But I carried a lot of baggage. The Liverpool Echo had a go at me, so did Joe Anderson. And also during the campaign, the Liverpool Echo was pulling a few stunts, which is another video in itself. But anyway, had someone that lived in Kensington and Fairfield with no previous political affiliation or baggage like I've got and stood on an anti-asylum ticket, they would have done quite well. They would have easily, easily came a good second, without a doubt, I am convinced. So that's what we need to do, that's what we need to uh, concentrate on until British nationalism gets uh, back on its feet and gets its act together, so I'm sure one day it will. How far away that is, I don't know. But in the meantime, by finding candidates with no previous affiliation to the BNPNF, uh, no baggage, it's hard for the media to attack them. Right, in fact, it's near impossible. What do they say? Call them racist or Nazi or fascist. Well, if they're known in the area, respected and looked up to, that could be counterproductive. In fact, extremely counterproductive because people know you who you are. And it'd be an insult calling their friend a Nazi, a racist or a fascist. So that's what we need to do. Now, I'm going to try and find a candidate for next year's County Council election in Liverpool 2019. But if it don't, I'll stand again, right? I made a few mistakes which I've acknowledged now, which I won't be making again. Also, I've just produced a logo which will be going on out on a bulletin on a regular basis in Kensington and Fairfield. I'll be highlighting what's still happening in the ward and what the Labour councillors are doing about it, which will probably be nothing as usual. Uh, I'll be highlighting this. I'll be chasing. I'll be hot on their tails. Trust me, I will. And I'll be bringing this to the attention of the people of Kensington Fable from now to uh, next year's County Council elections, May 2019. But if I can in the meantime find an excellent candidate to stand as an independent, then I will. You see, what we've got to do, we've got to field squeaky clean candidates if we can get them, right? And we've got to, they've got to campaign, like I've said, like I did on an anti-asylum ticket and many other issues that are affecting the people in that world. The dumping of rubbish, which is mainly by um, asylum seekers, foreigners that are being dumped into Kensington and Fairfield. There's a lot of anger and resentment there, right? And also, the Labour uh, stranglehold can and has been broken before. They voted Lib Dem before because they didn't trust the Labour. But once the Lib Dems went into a coalition with the Tories, they went back to Labour and you can't blame them. But if there's a feasible, sensible candidate there campaigning on local issues that people understand and can relate to, right, you will get their vote without a doubt. There's no doubt in my mind. We will, right? I know we will. I had a lot of baggage. I wasn't known in the ward. But I'm going to make myself known, right? And I will stand again. Like I've said, I've got a bulletin now that's going to be getting produced quite regularly. And it's going to go, it's going to be put out in the ward of Kensington and Fairfield. And I'm going to highlight what's happening and what should be happening. I'm going to uh, follow, um, I'm going to monitor the word, monitor what's happening in there. Because I've got people in the ward now telling me regarding the dumping of rubbish. It's continued, nothing stopped. There's more migrants, asylum seekers, foreigners, whatever you want to call them, getting dumped there. The prostitutes are still on Shield Road, Modern New Road. Nothing's changed and no will it. So I'm looking forward to this because this is going to be good. It's going to be productive. Even if I stand, I know I'm going to do well. So I've got a whole year this time to plan my campaign. 
But if I can find someone in the meantime, not just for Kensington and Fairfield, but for other wards in Liverpool, then they will be standing as an independent, no political baggage, no uh, association with previous political parties, BNP, NF, you know, and skeletons in the closet like I've got. And I will stand them in parts of Liverpool. But at the moment, Kensington and Fairfield is uh, my main aim. Also as well, just diversifying, not too far from Kensington, right? Smith Down Road, also part of uh, Luciana Berger's um, con um, parliamentary constituency. Smith Down Road, there's about six roads, uh, Wendell, Wendell Street, is it? Um, and a few others where Romany gypsies have taken over and they have literally trashed that area. I'll leave a link below. It really is in an it's in a worse state than Kensington. Christ! I'm going to try and get someone to stand there as well. I'll leave a link below regarding the uh, Romany gypsies Smith Down Road. It really, really is appalling. I'll, I drive round uh, Kensington and Smith Down Road every night. I'm frightful. God help the people that live amongst that lot. Oh! But anyway, I'll leave the link below and that's the way forward, local candidates. Okay, thank you.